looking at all of my snakes, 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 snakes. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I did get a new snake. So I did choose the name that you guys requested the most. I'm actually going to show you guys them in chronological order. So the order of which I got them and my newest snake will be at the end. I'm hoping that everybody is in a good mood because sometimes they aren't. Wow. <laughs> I really don't want to get bit today, but that is a sacrifice that I'm willing to make for you. So yeah, we are going to start with Chili who is right there. So the first snake that we got is this corn snake. Her name is Chili. We've always just called her a girl, but her tail kind of looks like it might be male. We've had her for almost a year and a half. She's definitely not full grown. Um, she was very, very teeny tiny when we got her. I will insert a photograph of how super small she was. She is really sweet once she comes out, but I will say she is the only snake that's ever bit me. I'm pretty sure it was a feeding response. Look how long she is. Like, I just cannot believe how big she's gotten in a year and a half. They really do grow fast. So if you are looking to get your first snake and you want something that grows like a pretty decent rate, I definitely would recommend one of these because she is just like the longest nope rope. So yeah, that is Chili. Can you just let it go for a minute? Can you just let go? We're tying ourselves into a knot. That is what's happening now. <laughs> oh my God. Aha. So this is Ichabod and he is our second snake. He is also a corn snake and we also got him as a tiny little worm. He is a really cool little snake, but he's pretty feisty. Are you a boa constrictor? Yeah. So what I really like about Ichabod is the checkers under his belly, but he's mostly like black and gray. And also on his, oh, he's a little head shy. But on his head, I don't think you can really see it here, but he does have some very pretty um like it kind of turns like a rainbowy color in the light um you know kind of like how an oil slick will have that like rainbow effect in the light that's how his head is i don't think the rest of his body is like that but i've always noticed it on his head so yeah i'm gonna put him back but this is icky or ichabod <laughs> next we have daisy our spinner blast ball python and she is a little bit of a shy one, very nervous. And so I'm just letting her feel supported. Right now she is wrapped around my wrist and she's just kind of starting to explore. So we have had her for a year. She was our third snake. She has a gene in her called the spider gene. And this gene can cause neurological issues, which she does have. Um, I would say she doesn't have them as bad as other spider morphs. She eats great. She's never refused a meal. She, they all eat frozen thawed. But I will say she does seem to be our most nervous snake. Now, she may seem like, you know, very timid now. I've been working with this snake, it, especially the past few months um, on getting her out. And we have come a very long way. I am very proud of how far we've come. In the past, I wouldn't have even taken her out of the bedroom. So the fact that I can now bring her into here without her spazzing out is an accomplishment. And I will say it's very rewarding that she now has began to open up the way she has. So she is not full grown. She still has quite a bit of growing to do. And she is a female ball python. So I do get quite a bit larger than the males. I will say that I definitely don't recommend a ball python as your first sneak. We've had our set of challenges between getting the humidity right. I also know that they are known to go on hunger strikes. Fortunately, that hasn't been the case for her, but I hear about it all the time. It's not something that's uncommon. She is a very good size though. She is a great eater and just look at her patterning. She's literally one of the most beautiful creatures that I think I've ever seen. I know that it's very controversial to have a spider morph. When I purchased her, that was not something I was aware of. After we took her home, I did contact the breeder several times for care information, and he told me about the wobble and said that it wouldn't affect her life at all. Fortunately, it has not. Um, knowing what I know now, like I can see that there are different severities of it, and fortunately she has she doesn't have it too bad but that is something to keep in mind so i just thought it was worth mentioning the longer i've had her out 
the better she's become and the more curious she's become. I, I do want to keep her a little bit away from my face. But yeah, we've got quite a we've got quite a bit of growing to do and I just I literally love this snake and <laughs> we've come a long way, haven't we? We really have. Okay, so a lot of you guys are really familiar with Willow. She is my rosy boa, and this is one of the snakes that I think I've bonded with the most. So Willow is a surprise snake, I call her, because I actually got her from some stranger on the internet. Her previous owner had her when she was just a little baby, and if you didn't know, rosy boas are quite the escape artists. So she did happen to make a great escape on him and she got lost in his basement for <laughs> an entire year. And then one day she just randomly showed up in his basement. He needed somewhere for her to go and a friend of a friend contacted me and said, hey, do you want a rosy boa? At the time I was like super brand new to snakes. I didn't even really know what a rosy boa was. I was like, I don't know, you know, let me think about it. And he was like, well, it needs to, it needs to, be gone tonight and I was like well if that's the case I will take her if she's not a good fit I'll just rehome her because I have plenty of reptile friends that I'm sure would wouldn't mind taking her in if I can't keep her so I did a whole bunch of research um, before deciding to keep her and I read a lot of amazing good things and now I must say this is my number one beginner recommended snake is a rosy boa you really just can't get any more docile than this I feel. Like I'll sit on the couch and I'll have her out just rooting through the blanket. She did make a great escape on me one time. She was out for maybe an hour. I didn't lock the door on her enclosure by mistake and she escaped and I found her right in here. So I mean it's crazy how quickly they'll find a weakness in their enclosure. So like that's the only thing I really say look out for. Make sure your enclosure is like secure and then make sure again. But I've just fallen in love with her. That brings us to our new addition I want you guys to meet. Okay you guys, this is the new snake. I don't know if you guys noticed but she looks very similar to Willow and that's because she is also a rosy boa except very tiny and a different morph. I saw these on Instagram maybe a few months ago and I was just so intrigued by the color pattern. I literally looked and looked and I found one at the tie-dyed iguana a few months ago. So I was kind of like facing a little bit of a conundrum because when I found the other rosy boa that was like this, it was in April and the tarantula takeover was also in April and I was trying to save my money just so I could pick up a couple new additions at that show. So I ended up not buying that rosy boa. And then a f maybe a week or so ago, I messaged them again and I asked by chance, do they still have it? They didn't, but they said they had a little baby one that was just as cute and it was the same black and silver tones as the other I wanted. So I asked if it was eating frozen yet and they said they hadn't tried. And I said that if she does take frozen, I'll take her. I would love it. So they were able to get her to eat some frozen thawed and this is her. I have not fed her a meal yet. It's been about a week since she ate, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and try that again soon. Look at those colors. And another thing that's really cool is that we have black eyes. I think that's so cool because willows are like a coppery color and like her body is kind of like a coppery color and this one's like black and silver with black eyes. So how cool is that? And I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl yet, but I did decide on a name thanks to all of your help. It is a name that I did consider, so I already was a little bit biased toward it, but literally I asked your guys' opinion on Instagram and you guys gave me so many amazing name ideas. It was really hard to choose, but... I kept coming back to this one. So this is Beetlejuice. So many people suggested to name her Beetlejuice and that is the name we are going with. I think it's a really fitting name considering the colors that we have. So I'm actually gonna go put this noodle back, but I will keep you guys updated on how we are doing. That's everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what snake you guys enjoyed the most. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not and you want to be. <laughs> and don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I post updates there first pretty much all the time. So... 
yeah oh if you guys were wondering will i be getting more snakes the answer is probably someday <laughs> right now i feel like we are pretty close to full capacity but i would like to add a mexican black king snake to our collection at some point as well as a boa i've been looking at the eclipse boas and the moon glow boas and they are so pretty but a boa is not happening here no 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 that is a someday animal so i don't know and if you guys are wondering tarantula cat why aren't we talking about tarantulas i don't know i really love my snakes too so i just wanted to share them with you plus i get asked all the time do you have snakes do you have snakes do you have snakes so i don't really like usually post about them on my youtube channel but if you follow me on instagram you know that i kind of spam you guys a little bit sometimes with snake photographs i'm sorry <laughs> but they're way more interactive than tarantulas so i have them out you know pretty often i do try to to tame them down a little bit and get them comfortable with handling as best as i can because a lot of them um we've had since babies and nobody wants a really big grumpy snake like that just makes everything so much more difficult you know i really have tried to get them to chill out especially daisy as you guys saw so anyway i will see you guys in my next video which is of course tarantula related you'll see you'll see okay all right all right okay uh